In most of web apps, you need to create, edit, or delete records in a table and connect it to an API. In Vue.js, we can do it very fast and simple. For example, we want an editable table of products. At first, create a component for product. Let's create some template for it. All right, let's use it. At first, we need to import it. And then add it here. Then we can use it in template. Now let's bind some values to it. And in product component, you must define props here. And then use v-model to bind these values to these inputs. All right, here we have list of products. But we can put this data in data section and use it here. But also, we can put this data on an array. And then use v-4 for loop through this array. Now create save and delete button for each record. In real world applications, we must get this data from backend API. But now we are hard coding it here. But how to connect this table to API and make these buttons work when user click on them? Just go to product components. In created method, Add a method to values object. Now we can call this method here. Now simply use fetch method to send request to API. Method is patch. You can set any headers here. 
like authentication headers or anything else and body now set API address and same method for delete All right, let's check it. Start my API server test. Actually, this is a Node.js script, and the source of this script is in my gist.github API server.js, and the link of this gist is on the caption of this video. We can see patch method called and we can see values here. And check delete. API addresses. All right, let's get professional. Actually, we can make a main API component and by using the inheritance feature of components, create components that communicate with API. Define API host here. And path. Then copy all of this. paste it here now make some changes here and here define dynamic method type Here check if the record has an ID, method type is patch, and if has no ID and it's a new record, method type is post, and use it here. Then here check the response. Here convert response to JSON object and use it here. Here check if it's a new record, assign an ID to it. And here call a method with API message after request complete. And do the same for delete method. Just copy this. Then add it here. But we don't need this. Now we can use it here at first import it then use extends 
and now we don't need all of this and set path here path is not defined actually we need initialize it with empty but it will set here let's check it we can see path is here And I want the view of product to be deleted when the delete button is clicked. And now we need to make some change in this method. Here we must pass target object and target object here is values and finally we can call it here. And also I want a button for add new product. Just add an empty object to products array. When adding a new item, our API generate a random ID for it. But in real world applications, database will do this. And now I want another component for users. And the link of this stack blitz is in the caption of this video.